Hey everybody, this is going to be a quick tutorial on the perk system for the Unreal Engine Marketplace. Basically it's a component that you can add to any actor and it gives them the ability to receive perks. And it also can easily add the icons to your screen for those perks so you know which perks you have. So let's hop right into it. I have a demo character here, which is just the standard third person uh, mannequin character. No code or really anything, all he has is some movement. Uh, all you have to do is go over to the components tab and add the perk component. Click that and then if you look on the click on perk component and on the details section it has the different variables that I have for examples and I also have an edit me uh, category for the perk limit. You can change this to whatever you want. A perk limit is say you only want the player to have two perks or four perks. Right now I have it set to 999 so he can have 999 different perks. So that will work there. Uh, let's also go, the next step is to go to the class settings and under the interfaces you need to add the perk interface. So let's click that, perk interface, make sure you compile and save and then you go to the event graph and we need to add the um, event called, so it should be at the top here event update player perks. Alright, and this is where you're gonna actually run the logic for your perks. So what I like to do is I put a branch and this checks if you're removing a perk or giving a perk. Then you can drag off of the perk that you're giving or receiving and do a switch on perk enum and off of true you add that one and off of false you add this one and that will give you the ability to give and receive perks. So right here, remove perk, true. This would be uh, remove perk logic here. So anytime, let's say you picked up a, a bad power up, a red power up from the demo here, one of these red ones, and it wants to remove the health perk. Well, this would be the code that you would add here would be the logic for removing the health perk. So it'd be, you know, like set the health back to normal. Same with anything else, fast shooting, set the shooting back to normal. And then down here, this would be where you would receive the perks. So you would do like set your health to a double or set your shooting speed to double. And that's how you can do it as easily off of these uh, enums. And I have a demo character. I'll go ahead and show you that as well. Um, let's see, perk system, demo assets, third person BP, blueprints, perk demo character. And you can see inside of mine that I have, I've used events. So I call these events for removing and giving uh, the perks. So if you click on like give health perk, you double click it. Uh, I've made this event where it gives you health and sets it. So it's easily done. Same with uh, removing perk logic. It's the same way. You go to remove a health perk and boom, sets the health back to normal. So it's uh, straightforward, pretty easy. That's how you do the actual perk logic. Now let me show you how you can do the the actual perk widgets that appear on your screen. So what I did is I just made this little demo widget. It's just a blank widget. Uh, you may have your own widget, your own HUD, whatever you want. Um, but it's as simple as this. You just add, you go to the top left and you search perk widget. And then you just drag it into your graph wherever you want the perks. Now, of course, you can use anchors and positions and, you know, you could put it wherever you want on your screen. But I mean, I could drag it right up here in the wonky spot at the top, compile, save, and then go into the game. And as you can see, I'm getting perks right where right where I dragged it. It automatically works. It gives you the perk icons and it'll remove the perk icons. And you can have multiple of them. So if you wanted a demo widget and you wanted several of them on your screen, you can drag three. You don't have to set up any code or anything it just automatically works. So there you can see I have three different uh, sets of perks there. 
So that's how easy it is to add the widgets and the icons. Now let me show you how you can actually add and edit your own perks. So let's go into the perk system and we have the perk data table here. I'm going to open that. Let me just go ahead and close some of these tabs. So we have the perk data table. Inside the perk data table is where all the perks are stored. So for example, here's the health perk. Uh, this is the actual perk and you have all of them listed here and then you have the icon you want associated with that. So let's say we wanted to add a new one. So we could come up here at the top where it says add a new row to the data table. Click that. Here's our new row. And then we need a picture. Uh, let's see. I don't really have another picture but I'll use the question mark. So wherever that question mark is that I have. There it is. This will be the icon called the random perk icon, but we'll use this for demonstration. And now we need an actual perk here. To add another perk, there is a file called a perk enum. Open that up, and here's where all the perks themselves are stored. So you just click on the add enumerator, and it adds another one. And you can name it whatever you want. I'll say Whippy's Tutorial Perk. Okay, and then you hit save, and then you could go back to the data table, and under this little drop down, you can pick Whippy's Tutorial Perk. So now you have Whippy's Tutorial Perk with the icon set here. You save, and that's where you would um, put on your logic inside of your demo character. So let me show you that again. So remember, we had this here, so. The top one is to remove the logic, the bottom one is to receive the logic. So you would drag off a Whippy's tutorial perk, and I'm just going to do a print string and say something like, You now have Whippy's tutorial perk. And I'll set the hint string to something like six seconds so we can see it. And how about red? There we go. And we compile, save, and you can do the same up here for removing it. So now when we go into the game, we need to, a way to uh, receive this perk. So I'm going to use one of these uh, power-ups here. I'm going to copy it over to here. And in its detail settings, I give you the ability to change... Where is the detail? Detail settings. Um, right here, you can... It's right now, by default, it's set to give a random perk, but you can uncheck that. And you can also set if you want it to respawn, which right now it's set to true, so it'll respawn every five seconds. You can uncheck that as well if you only want it to be a one-time use. But the perk to give, you can change that to Whippy's Tutorial Perk, and it'll give you that specific perk every single time. And this is my other character, but it's just giving me an error, but it's not nothing related to this. So we grab that, and as you can see, I have the question marks for the you now have Whippy's tutorial perk in the top left. And voila! I can keep grabbing it over and over and it will only give me that perk once because I already have it. And then if I remove it, it's gone. Alright, so that's how easy it is. And you can also do with these, um, these power-ups. You can also do the same thing. You can uh, uncheck the remove random perk and you can make it set to remove like Whippy's tutorial perk. It will always remove Whippy's tutorial perk or health perk or whatever you set it to, depending on if you check these boxes, and then you can always set the respawn delay. All right. So with that, that's pretty much how you can add and edit perks. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you one last thing, which is in the... Uh, demo assets, third person blueprint, blueprint, and the perk demo character. I'm going to show you the uh, the example logic. I have it all written out here in um, comments for instructions on how to do it, on how to add the, everything into the, your character, pretty much what we just, what we just did. But uh, I'm going to make a separate video that's going to show you all of the example logic. And I have tons of example logic here, as you can see, for all of these perks, for health perk, speed perk, revive perk, fast shooting perk, all of that. And these are, you, you can use them as an example for your own project, 
but I also have it set up where you can easily copy and paste them into my other product which is the um, multiplayer zombie survival template and all these perks will work out the box perfectly with the multiplayer zombie survival template so uh, if you want to watch that video then go for it if you have the multiplayer zombie uh, survival template if not I hope that I explained everything and you can understand it and hope you enjoy the new perk system thanks